In this video, I'm going to show you how to create market studies and research reports like this right in your notes. We're going to use ChatGPT plugins using the AI Agents plugin, the Reflect Notes plugin, and the WebPilot plugin. So let me show you how to do this to be able to create reports on any topic with any format you'd like to live in your notes. So let's start building our report or study. So to start with, go into ChatGPT. And you will need a ChatGPT Plus subscription because that is what's going to get you the access to the plugins here. And once you have this set, we're going to be using three plugins. So if you don't have these installed, which you probably don't, you'll need to go into the plugin store and you can just search for them here. And the three you're going to want to install and activate is AI Agents. Now that is what is going to kind of turn this chat into sort of ongoing strategy. It can act almost as if it were the agent running a report. We're going to activate Reflect because that's where we're going to send the report into, into our notes. And WebPilot, that is what is going to allow ChatGPT to actually search the web for all these things. So make sure all three of those are activated. You can have three enabled at one time. So you can have all three of those enabled, but you won't be able to do uh, enable any other one besides those three. Okay, and I should also warn you now, I'm going to go through this process, but I'm going to skip around a lot because if I just make you sit here and watch me communicate with ChatGPT for a while, then it's going to be a very long, boring video. But you'll, as you'll see, I'll kind of walk through the conversation and you can see that most of what you have to do is just sort of tell it what to edit in the strategy and ask it to proceed with the plan. So let's get started here. I think for this example, I'm going to use generator a market study and i'm going to choose network note taking so i haven't tried this yet we'll see how it goes so i'm going to start off with a prompt that just says main ai agent objective and we'll ask it to create a market study on top network note taking apps and we'll see where it goes with that. I'll probably let it work through this first part just so that we can kind of see how it kicks off. And I will uh, start skipping around a little bit more just to eliminate some of the parts where it's just writing and using the agents. But each step usually will take under a minute. So it doesn't actually take that long for it to complete each step. Okay, so we see it has its first step here. And it's going to start by outlining a plan. And it's really, really important to get this part right here. So let's see what it did. Identify the top network note-taking apps. That's great. Gather information about each app, such as the fe features, pricing, user reviews, ratings, number of downloads of users avail if available, and any unique selling points or differentiators. And then finally, it's going to analyze the data and draw conclusions. Okay, and now it's ready to kind of execute on this simple plan. But as you can see, there's kind of a lot that goes into this here. There's a lot, quite a lot of researching and internet searching, which in my opinion is where the biggest benefit comes in. You don't have to do that. But I am going to ask it to tweak a little bit here. So let's say for step number two, please don't worry about the number of downloads or users. And I'm going to ask it to do that because for a note-taking app, I don't really think that's necessarily a great indicator of how good it is. And if you, we were doing this for, you know, an investment in a note-taking app or something like that, then we probably would care about that number. But let's say that I'm going to use this for marketing pur purposes or even just for my own personal knowledge, so I'm not going to worry about that much. And while I've been rambling here, you can see that it kind of continues to go down here. So let's see what it found here. So first of all, it confirmed that it's only going to, or it's not going to look at the number of users or downloads, and then it went ahead and proceeded. So we can go here, see it. The first step was to identify the top networking note-taking note apps. And here we have a list of them. But I'm doing this for Reflect, and I don't see Reflect in here. So that's the first thing I'm going to ask it. Okay, so we're going to have it do reflect, but then this is quite a lot. So this is 23 apps. And if it goes through and does all of these for all 23 apps, that's going to take a while. 
But again, if you were doing this for some genuine research purpose, then you might actually want a comprehensive list. But for me, I'm going to shorten it. So I'm going to say, let's, along with reflect, please include number. Um, so let's do number four for notion. We'll do number six for Rome research. And let's do maybe number 12 for Obsidian. And again, I'm kind of simplifying this for the sake of this video. You probably want more of these. Actually, I'm going to add Lost Logzack too. And number 19. And I'm going to say, forget about the others, only do this one. And it confirms that it will only do those five applications. And then it's going to start with the rest of the process for reflect. So I'm going to let this run and we'll check in when this stuff's done. Okay, here we go. So I've asked it to run all of the you note know, taking up here, apps here. So it started with reflect, collected the features, reviews, unique selling points, pricing. I asked it to continue here with uh, notion. It went ahead and did the same thing for notion. It asked me if it wanted to proceed for, if it, if I wanted it to proceed for Rome research, I said, yes, it did that. So on and so forth here through obsidian and log sec. So that's all of our note taking applications done. Then. So as you can see, it's just asking me basically, did I do, did I do a good job? Can I continue? And you just say, yep, please continue. And again, at any point here, if I see something like this, I just let it run, but maybe I'm reading this and I'm like, uh, you actually didn't do great on the reviews for this one. Can you look for uh, trust pilot reviews instead for obsidian, something like, that, and it will redo it. Okay. So now if we go back up to our original plan here, our third step is to analyze data and draw conclusions. So I'm just going to copy that here and then I'm going to say, great, please continue with the last step and we'll see how it does with that. Okay, so we have compiled some results together here. And basically what it's done is it's pulled everything and summarized it into a few sentences for the apps and got some conclusions. And the conclusions are kind of what you would expect. It's a little bit generic saying, you know, there's unique features for each one, but that is actually true. That's why there's so many note-taking apps. So I'm not going to fault it for that. But there is something I am going to fault it for in that there's not any, you know, pricing information. It doesn't really talk too much about the actual features. So I've asked it to add five features for each application and the price of each. And now you can see a bunch of web pilot requests here. This is basically just it going one by one and searching for both the pricing and for the features. That's why there's 10 of these here. And it did that. It collected the features and the pricing. Now here you can see, I asked it to add the information to the research study and it actually failed. It just gave me this information again. So what I did is I copied and pasted it. And then I asked it to please add the information to the conclusions that posted before. And I literally just copied and pasted its message from before. And that seemed to work pretty well. So now if I go down here, each one, you can see these are a little longer. That's because it includes some information about the features and some pricing. And so what I would do if I was actually going through this here is I'd kind of do a sanity check. So I read through these here and I see that it says reflect is free to use, which is not entirely inaccurate because there's a free trial, but it is kind of inaccurate because it's a paid product after the free trial. So maybe I'll do some correcting with it on a couple of these and I'll say it looks like reflect only has a free trial. And is then I'll say $15 a month or $15 a year after that. Let me please add that info. And it should just add that. So, and then I'll kind of go through the rest of these and I'll look and do a sanity check. Afterwards, I can actually use a plugin to do some fact check, probably do a, a different video on. That. But in general, it's pretty good to kind of do the sanity check here especially for something like price, that's pretty easy to fact check, just make sure that it gets it right. But here we can see that it ran it again. And now it has that done into reflect. So let's ask it to pull everything. 
So I'll pause while it does that, and then we'll regroup for the last step where we push it into reflect. All right, we are all done here and good to go. Everything is collected. And now we're on to the last step. So I'm just going to ask it to send this into reflect. And now this step can take a few minutes because it's going to need to call on the reflect plugin. And that part's pretty quickly, but this is quite a lot of information. And it's going to need to organize that and parse it over. So it might take a couple of minutes. I'll let it do its thing and then we'll check out how it did. All right, it looks like it was successful here. If I open this, you can just see the entire markdown command there, but you don't need to. And let's go into reflect. We can see it here under my daily note with a nice title. It appears under chat GPT notes. So I'm going to turn this into its own note. And again, I just kind of did this for fun, but so I'm not going to add any kind of more details into it, but you could add a tag. So maybe I want to say chat GPT report or something so that I can always pull those up. But now I have this ni nice report here. And this is actually much simpler than most of them are. I heavily simplified this for the sake of the demonstration video, but you can do one on any topic. So if you want to learn about something, maybe you like astronomy or you could even learn about AI or learn more about how to build a network note taking app, you can use this agent to break it down. So I plan on doing one or two more videos with this actual agent plugin using with reflect because I just think it's very cool to be able to have any report on any topic be able to land in your notes, whether you need it right now, or you just want that information to be able to index later on in the future.